Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. You know, we're now in August and we have a nice low humidity morning. You know, those great kind of mornings to be working out in your vegetable garden. Well, anyhow, it's that time of year when I need to plant my cold weather crops. And I'm planting the Gypsy Variety Broccoli today. So thanks for joining me today. So follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be planting these out in my vegetable garden. So I'm going to be planting these right over here on the right side of my garden. This garden here is an 18 foot by 30 foot garden and I, you know, a couple of years ago I put a border around it so I could elevate it a little bit more and, and add some compost to it. But right here on the right side of my garden bed here is where I'm going to be planting my gypsy broccoli. And this bed here is about 4 foot by 15 foot. And then I'm also going to be putting the row cover over it. And I also did a video uh, a, a little while ago about how I prepared this bed for this, uh, these plant, uh, broccoli plants. You know, most plants come with labels and they always give you a little bit of information on these labels and it's, it's really helpful out here in the garden. Uh, here at the Gypsy Broccoli, it says it matures in 68 days and the fruit size is about six inches. It's also heat tolerant and it, the variety produces uniform domed heads and it also, you know, this type, this type of soil prefers fertile, well-drained soil and cooler temperatures. And being it's in August here, I'm going to be, since I'm covering these plants with row covers, it's going to help filter the sun because, you know, this time of year the sun can be really hot on these plants. And so the uh, row cover, the spun-bonded polyester, it's, it, it allows like 85% of your light uh, come through it and you can also water right through it and of course it keeps the cabbage worm the the, the yellow butterfly it keeps them out out of the out from around the plants it, it also protects it from the aphids and you know it's something I always encourage gardeners to do is to be proactive and take preventive measures to keep these pests off you know it may take a little bit of time a little bit of money up front to to build these low tunnel hoop houses and to buy some spun bonded polyester but it's well worth it and remember that you can uh, reuse the the hoops and sometimes the row covers for a couple years and so a couple weeks ago i did a video i had already went through this bed and and used my garden fork that's what i like using anymore i used to have a cultivator but now that i have raised beds i don't need to have a gas powered cultivator and so it uh, and I use my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. And then I also add alfalfa pellets uh, a couple times during the season to help add a slow release fertilizer to the soil. It's also a 3 2 2 nutrient profile. And so I had already worked through the, the garden here. And another handy pole that I have in the garden is like a, a measuring pole measuring rod and I have I have it laid out every 18 inches and every 24 inches and it really makes it handy when you go to plant your plants you can also lay this on the soil this it's about an eight foot piece of uh, wood it's about one inch thick by about inch and a half I think I took a two by four and ripped it down but you can also rock it back and forth in the soil to where you're going to create your rows and so I had, I had bought three market packs of six 
broccoli plants and transplants and I had already planted some in here ahead of time but you can see I used that measuring pole there to, to mark the rows and then also to space my plants 18 inches apart and so I just take my pole here and just rock it back and forth and that'll mark your rows real nice I'm going to be planting these again about 18 inches apart and the rows will be about 24 inches apart and so I'm just going to lay this here on the soil I have my 18 inches apart on the pole and I also have my plant that I had just planted across from me and so I have a little trowel here that I sometimes use sometimes I just use my hand and you know planting these couldn't be couldn't be easier you simply just want to dig a hole and then I use my four fingers and press evenly around the soil or around the plant and then just pop out another one and sometimes these have dead leaves on them and so you want to pull any dead leaves off of them you just want to firm it lightly around the plant and of course you also want to water these in Bailey's always my little garden helper he's always curious you're out in the garden aren't you little boy and also wouldn't hurt to fertilize these as you plant them right in the beginning and so I have two more to go here It's going to be a nice day today. It's low humidity out here in Pennsylvania, so it's always a nice, nice type of day to be working out in the garden. You're not really sweating a whole lot. And so now that you have these planted, again, you could use some type of liquid fertilizer to fertilize these in. Maybe once every seven days, it wouldn't hurt to fertilize them. And you know, once I install these row covers, then you know you can also water them right through the row covers. They allow all the rain and the, and the air to pass pass through the covers, which is really nice. And so the last thing I have to do here is to install my row cover. Again, the row cover is going to protect it from the aphids and the cabbage butterfly, you know, the looper worm that just devastates your plants. And so I'm just simply going to grab my the one edge here. I had used this row cover in the springtime and so I, ha I already have the one edge weighted down with my bricks. And I need to make sure that Bailey's not trapped under here. So come on Bailey, you have to get out of there. Come on. That's a boy. And so I'm just going to simply get some of my brick here and then anchor these edges down and again these uh, row covers are going to keep all the, the summer heat off these plants especially here in August you know it really gets pretty hot some of those hot summer days And so I'm just going to finish putting this row cover on. And so I had a few viewers ask me, can, how do you water through these row covers? Or can you water through them? And so I thought I would take a minute and just show you how you can water right through them. And so it does a really nice job. It goes right through the row covers, as you can see. I'll water these a couple times a week, especially in the summer heat. Also, when you install these row covers, you want to make sure that the edges are well anchored down. I ended up using my bricks 
that I had left over from a construction job years ago, but you know, any type of weight will work, but you really want to make sure you have a, the edges anchored down because you get some of these winds and they'll, they'll blow your cover off. Sometimes it's exp ex experimental. You'll quickly find out whether you need to add more weight or not to along the edges of your row covers. I also have bricks along the back edge too. This is where the prevailing winds come and so you, you don't want these edges to lift up at all. And so anyhow, I hope this video was able to give you some tips and ideas on planting broccoli in your garden. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so so you can receive future videos. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day gardening. Till next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.